Hello guys, in this video I will show you how we have produced, uh, actually planned and then uh, produced and tested this water wall. I will give you a short overview so that you can get a feeling of what is important. But please understand that the details I will not show because uh, you can get the details if you become a member of our water wall school or a business partner. So the planner came to us and told us that he would like to have a water wall around this pillar. Because this pillar it's in the middle of that very fancy office and they didn't know how to uh, make it a beautiful thing so they thought about a water wall and yeah so we did a planning um, as you can see here so that we have two water walls um, and the water would run across a mirror um, and the challenge was that we have only very limited space first for the water walls themselves and then for um, putting the water treatment components here. So this is our uh, first sketch which then was approved by the customer and after that we have created the production uh, drawing which then looks like this. So you won't see here many details but just to give you a feeling how we work first we have the sketch after that we have this detailed production drawing and according to this drawing then we order the stainless steel parts and we assemble them and do the testings so in this video you can see um, the water wall running the first time by the way this is not our own workshop this is the workshop of a subcontractor who from time to time is giving us some space and in this case he also has welded some of the parts this is why we have made uh, testing uh, at his workshop and what you also can see here is um, lime free distilled water which, which we all time always use when we do the testings because if you use normal water then you will have a very dirty water wall after the testing period and you can see that uh, a mirror is a perfect surface to build a water wall because the reflection of the lights is really dramatically increasing the the effect of the water walls okay and here you see now the other side and the challenge was also to produce it in a way that we will not have uh, water dropping out of the system so we had to plan and test it very carefully so I hope you like this one so now here you can see the first running after we have installed the water wall at the customer's place at the construction site and here you can see uh, one effect which you will mostly face when you build water walls especially when you use glass as a surface and there are actually three um, tricks how you can fix that um, and I will teach you this in our water wall school if you become a member or if you buy a course then I will show you how to fix this trick actually I think this is uh, pretty good explained in our glass water wall mastery course because if you don't know how to fix that then actually your water wall is not going to work because you know the water is uh, getting together down here and then you get water um, dropping out of the system because it's actually too much water at a very small phase but if you a uh, very small space but if you are able to maintain a water film then the water will um, flow much much slower it will make no noise and everything will stay dry and uh, what we have also installed are some LEDs which then pretty much uh, made the whole thing 
<laughs> more awesome. Actually, those LEDs had also a color changing. It's uh, R RGB, and uh, yeah, it, it it really looked awesome. And this was before um, everything was uh, coated by another craftsman. But what you can see here is that we've had very very little space to um, put in the pump, the filtering system, and the metering unit and the automatic automatic refilling system by the way and here is something which i really uh, strongly recommend do always take care that your hoses are good f are fixed in a proper way and do not have contact to the surrounding because those hoses sometimes can um, uh, leak even if you take very much care, single drops they can um, uh, yeah flo float or, uh, along the hose. This is why we have used duct tape to fix this hose so that it won't have contact to the pillar in case that this system would lose uh, water, so that the water would not touch the pillar and stay inside the system. Okay, and now here you can see the work of the carpenter who has faced the whole water walls and water uh, technology uh, in a yeah quite pretty way. So here is a kind of a desk, and here you see the uh, small thin part of the water wall, and uh, here you can see um, the big water wall at the back side and here at this area there is a kind of a waiting area so when people uh, come there then they uh, can sit here and they can enjoy the water wall so actually uh, a very very impressive and uh, uh, <laughs> yeah nice installation with some challenges I hope you like this short presentation well, actually, I could tell you uh, a lot of more details about how we've planned and produced this one. And if you really want to know more about it, I would be happy if you register at our free membership site. So please visit us at vavazen.net and then subscribe here. And after you have subscribed, you will receive uh, confirmation email and after you have confirmed your email address you will get the login data um, also by email so that you can log in into the dashboard and here in our dashboard you will find a free course about waterwall essential basics where we show you what are the main things you should um, consider and take care of when you plan and build a water wall. And also we have here a glass water wall mastery course and an ebook. So if you like this video, if you want to learn more, I would be happy to see you in our Vava Zen Water Wall School. Thank you and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.